So Molly, you teach a class that I know is very rigorous. Um, my daughter took the class from you. What, what's it called? Marketing management. Marketing management. And um, I know it's a tough course. You have lots of requirements. It's tough uh, in the sense that there's a lot of work, but it's also tough just conceptually. It's a challenging course. And yet, you get some of the best teaching evaluations in the college. And, you know, I've heard people say before, you can't get really high teaching evaluations if you have a tough course, and you're proof that's not true. How do you do it? Well, first, thanks for the comments. Um, I would say it it's an odd beginning, but it goes back to my junior year in high school. My mom was a math teacher, and I came home from high school one day, and I joked with her about how my English literature class was going to be easy because our reading list was light. And she sat down immediately and made a list of the books that I would be reading in addition to the required books that my teacher had. And uh, she said, just because your teacher's making it a fluff year, it's not going to be a fluff year for you. And it was such a good learning for me because I had to really think about education from that point of view and also the expectations that my parents had for me and that I should have for myself. And I realized at that point that I had no respect for a teacher that wasn't going to set high expectations for me. And so I love having a class that when students discuss it, they don't say I'm the easy grade. I want an A to mean something. To be honest, I want a B to mean something. I want a C to mean something. I've had one of my favorite evaluations. A student said, I have never worked as hard in college to get a B in a class or been this proud of it. And that to me is great teaching. My dream is to have the highest evaluations and the most challenging class. And then I'm doing my job. So just like when you stepped into being the dean, you relied on other people to give share their insight with you. I watched you do that and I thought, why am I not doing that? Why would I rely on a textbook or my own thought of the marketing world? And so I went out, um, just as you have your advisory boards, I went out and I have an advisory board for my class. And I have 15 individuals who invest in Walton a crazy amount of time and they send me articles and um, advice on what my students should read. They create writing projects and send me data sets to analyze. They come in and team teach projects with me. They hold my students accountable. My students will do presentations. And where my personality might be a little more um, prone to say positive things, I can promise you these executives who have sat in tough meetings are going to give the students a dose of reality. And I've learned from that and learned that that's the most important thing I can do is to make sure that I'm giving students that dose of reality that's equipping them when they go out into the marketplace. So I want my class to be discussed as one of their most challenging experiences that they had on this campus, but also one of their favorites.